right back tinfoil hat moment. We all know that he hates Vince and everything to do with the WWE now because, you know, no one likes him there. Um, he it started like calling people out on Twitter. If you want to mm-hmm. show the, little, the first little tweet, tweet. Oh, that's all I've got is the one. You never sent me. Oh, I sent you some others. Oh, you the browser. Can I like, strike that thing a different screen? What? <coughs> I can't share it. Oh, God. Will broke it. Weird. I'll just read it. It's okay, fine. just read the tweet. I'm sorry, guys. I'm failing as a producer. Still waiting on Meg- Mega Preacher TD <laughs> Jake's. To My career speaks like for it. itself when marks make me trend because they know deep down I made an impact in a very short period of time. I had to walk away from my health and to keep my brand. I don't need to go to that babbling piece of shit Meltzer to say Triple H has his own NDAs and there are many more to be found with hiding horrible behavior. John Cena should be highly concerned as well. Alex Riley deserves justice as well. So he's just calling out Cena. Like, Cena is not even part of this. You said, Ed, you left out the important part. Hashtag hungry. Hashtag guys. hungry. Hashtag hungry. Um, Hashtag dipshit. So I'm going to say it. Ryback's full of shit. I say it most of the time, and I put it every time I post this on YouTube. It's still one of our highest rated segments. I still I still don't understand why YouTube loves Ryback. Um what in the world is the big guy even talking about? Like, what? 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 John Cena? I, Alex Riley? What? I blame Las Vegas for all of this. <laughs> what did Vegas because do, John? <laughs> I, I blame Las Vegas and Vince McMahon for all of this. Because one night on a shitty episode of Raw, back in whenever Vince was in charge... The crowd was so fucking bored that they started chanting Ryback's name because he was <laughs> from there. And th- ever since then, that motherfucker's head continues to grow. He is such a fucking idiot. I despise that guy. He is wow. a dumbass. Okay. Concur. Um, <laughs> continuing, He's an idiot. On, continuing on his bullshit. Uh, the federal authorities need to look into many things with Vince McMahon and the WWE. They need to look at all of their social media partnerships and Vince McMahon's insane mentality of wanting to control everything, even by illegal measures. All my social media became suppressed (laughs) in 2016 when I wouldn't sign it all over to him with an NDA to not talk about the company. This man is going to be found guilty of so many things if they keep looking. He added the FBI. Hashtag hungry. Hashtag hungry. I think it's because the of shit. it's it's because if you left the WWE, no one would give a fuck where you went next. <laughs> now, oh Ziggler, where the fuck would he show up? Um, Brian Danielson, obviously, where the fuck is he gonna go? Edge, you suck so bad when you left WWE, no one gave a shit, bro. That's why your shit suppressed. You you didn't have any a machine behind you. No one cared. Um, and then on a personal beef today with Ryback, I went into his shitty live on TikTok trying to get a birthday shout out for our pal Jacks here. If and anyone, I, if anyone can get me a birthday shout out from Ryback, I will get it printed on a t-shirt and wear that. Bitch. <laughs> Finish your statement, Al. Finish what you just yeah. Yeah, I sent that motherfucker a galaxy on TikTok oh. trying to get his attention. Oh. He shouted me out, but ignored the request to tell you happy birthday. That oh motherfucker. God. I want my fucking galaxy back, right back. Cry back. Uh-huh. Rude. So rude. That is rude. Fuck I'm going to make a video calling him out. I'm going to make a video calling him out. All right. All you do, bro, take two seconds. Say, happy birthday, Jax. That's it. That's all I wanted. Bingo. Fucking Rebby Hardy did it. Yeah. She's way cooler than you are. I'm definitely clipping this for right back. (laughs) 
All right. Um, let's dive into the Rumble stuff for the last few minutes of the show. Knock some, knock some of our Rumble stories out because it's uh, what everybody wanted. But Bo's segment for Match of the Week, 